This is downloading and installing Roxim on a Macintosh. First, go ahead and download by clicking on the Max Macintosh download link. Once the file is downloaded, you'll get this in your downloads folder and it will put a hard disk onto your desktop. And go ahead and double click on that to open that up. And take the Roxim 9 and you're going to want to open a new finder window. I opened one there. And then I'm going to take the Roxim 9 folder and I'm going to just drag it into the applications folder right here. And it's going to ask me to enter the uh, administrator. Go ahead and continue. And enter my password. Go ahead and sit OK and it's moving the file there and when it's done you can go ahead and take this hard drive and go ahead and throw that in the trash okay and now going to the applications folder I'll scroll down to find the Roxim 9 folder which is here and then just go ahead and launch Roxim and it was going to are you sure you want to open it and I'm going to say open And then you're going to get this error message here. Let me get this out of the way. You're going to get this error message here saying um, you need to install some extensions. And for the Macintosh, you do need to install these. So go ahead and click OK. And it will start downloading them. And you're going to want the um, OS 10 extensions. So go ahead and click on that. And then you just double click on the uh, extensions package. And it's going to walk you through it. It's going to ask you for, again for your password. close that. You can close that window, close this window, close that window, um, and then since Roxim didn't start, just go back to the Roxim 9 folder and go ahead and restart Roxim. And it's going to tell you that this is a trial, and this is normal. It is going to tell you that it is a trial, but you have to register it. So go ahead and click on the register button, and it's going to ask you for your company name, um, and it does require a company. And if you don't have a company, you can just put a, a dash in there and an address. And then go ahead and click Next. And here you have to save the license request. Um, so I'm going to click on the Save License button. And it's going to ask me where I'm going to save it. And I'm going to change this so that it saves it to the desktop because I want to know where it is so I'm going to put it on the desktop and I recommend that you do too and then go ahead and save okay and over here on the desktop is now this file so let me uh, close this out and you can just leave this screen open but go ahead and get your mail program started and here's our mail and I'm going to create a new mail message and this needs to be sent to orders at apogeerockets.com and this is going to be Roxim license request. Now on the Macintosh all you need to do is to take this file here and just drag it right there and you can see that it's called Roxim underscore nine dot ILR. The ILR means Internet License Request or interlock license request. Uh, then go ahead and just click on send. Okay, and now you wait. Uh, what we do on our end is we take this license file and we run it through a key generator and then we'll email you that back. And I'm going to pause here, I'm going to go get that license file and email it back to this address here. Alright, now 
the email has come back uh, from Apogee, and it doesn't usually take very long. And attached to this is a license file. See, now the, ch the name is still Roxim 9, but it's changed to .ilf, which means in interlock license file. And I want to take that file, and I'm going to just drag it onto my desktop. Okay, and then make sure um, that you read this. Uh, because if you lose this file, and we have to regenerate it, unfortunately it's extra work on our end, uh, but if you keep this license file, you can reinstall Roxim at any time in the future. Uh, but if we have to regenerate for you, it's, it's not fair to our other customers that we have to keep regenerating these and spending our time to do it. So we do charge an extra $10 if you need a new license file. Uh, but basically to get that license file, you go through the same procedure again, and then we email you it back. Um, after we have collected your money, of course. So I'm going to close my mail program now, and I'm going to go back to my Roxim program. And right now it, it was still waiting. The last time we were here, we saved the license request. Now we're going to read license. So just go ahead and click on that button there, and it brings up to this screen here. And uh, what you're going to want to do is go back to the desktop. So I've got the desktop selected here, and then just select the roxim9.ilf file and then just click on choose and when you're done it says authorize this system with a valid license file and now you're done so when you click finish it's going to go ahead and, and launch roxim and now roxim has started and so we're all set and ready to go to start uh, designing with roxim so before you do anything else make sure you have this roxim9.ilf file saved uh, but don't put it on your computer. Make sure it's archived off of your computer uh, in case your hard drive fails or in case you get a new computer. You want to have that file. So we recommend burning it onto a CD-ROM or maybe putting it on a flash drive. The last thing I want you to do is to use the Roxim tutorials and you get there by going to the products menu going down to Roxim software, going to Roxim, and then video tutorials and just click on that and it will bring up a listing of all the videos that we've created on how to use Roxim. And we're always adding more so keep coming to back to this page to see what's new. So go ahead and watch these videos and if you have a question go ahead and send us an email we'll be happy to help you out.